Sometimes it is true. You thought or you think that nobody saw you. Not knowing. They saw you. And hello everybody, it is Ishmael and your priest. I welcome you to today's video. Now, hear me out. Let me assure you, you know, like I can't help, but recently I remember when I shared some message, uh, it came to my mind that actually it is what it is. It is like that. You know, there are some conversation, for instance, the Bible says, if you look at a woman lustfully, in your heart, you have already committed adultery with that woman, right? So it means that is the battle that goes within. In other scriptures, the Lord Jesus will tell these Pharisees that you clean the outside of the cup and leave the inside dirty. You stupid people. But he didn't use the word stupid people. He used some other words, but to ridicule them or something. Saying that, if you were to clean the inside of the cup, automatically with ease, the outside is going to be clean as well. You decorate your tombs to be clean outside, not knowing that inside it is full of dead bones. To show you that on the outside you are good, but inside you are dirty. What I'm trying to say to you is this. There are some things that we are doing inside. Nobody is seeing us. Nobody is seeing you. And then, yes, people outside there, they are praising you. You're a good person. You are doing well. But you wonder, why am I not getting the fullness of what I want? Because come on, everyone can praise me. Come on, everyone is also saying that I deserve. Listen, the final person, in fact, the major person that is going to judge you, that is going to check you well, it is the almighty God. Meaning, if in our eyes you can look deserving, but inside you are dead, if we are also able to see you inside, the inside of you, let me show you we are going to disqualify you. Just that we are being limited. But God, who has the final say with each and every person, remember, he is not limited. He sees the outside and the inside. Meaning, listen, things which you see, things that nobody can see. They are the ones that are hindering you. That Those are the things that are hindering us as Christians. And some things we may do, we may give, but if it's not coming from the heart, it is no wonder why it seems, you know, the Bible says, God loves a cheerful giver. What does it mean? If you give while you're not happy, who's going to see it? Is it the people? You can pretend, right? But God will know that you are not giving cheerfully. Meaning, if you don't give cheerfully, though you act like you are giving cheerfully, don't be shocked when you don't reap the rewards. What I'm saying to you is this. There are some people today, your things are meant to be yours. Your things, your blessings, what you're looking for is pending. Now, what's left is for you to clean the inside of you. And you will see things are going to flow. Yes, you might have done all perfectly so. What remains is the final part. Clean your inside. Also in your heart. Don't think, don't meditate wickedness. Give cheerfully. Serve him also faithfully from your inside. And you will see things are going to flow. There comes your blessing. May God's Holy Spirit enable you and help you in Jesus' name. Amen. And of course, you can also book an appointment with me. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.